What's up YouTube? I got a surprise for you today. I bought a car. Here it is. It's a 2001 Subaru Forester. And it's got a bunch of stuff that it needs. Head gaskets, wheel bearing, shocks, and a couple of other things. It's got an engine code. has a code for a catalytic converter, which in my experience half the time isn't actually the cat. But I suspect in this case that it might be just because the head gaskets are blown and the guy was driving it for a long time and he says it loses coolant. It's not on the ground. You know, it's only one other place it could be. And coolant just destroys catalytic converters. I've already been to pick and pull and I got some parts. Uh, I did need a CV axle. That up, 30 bucks. Got the struts. Um, I'm just gonna do one side, one on the front, uh, one on the rear. I'm just trying to do this cheap. I know that you should do both at the same time, but you know, the passenger side on the front is working great and the driver's side on the rear is working great. So I'm just gonna leave them. And uh, I did need a wheel bearing. I figured it'd be cheaper to just get the whole spindle which uh, it was $30 for the spindle at pick and pull. But I grabbed the wrong side like an idiot. Oh well. So the first thing I noticed when I got this car is that the outer tie rod nut was not tightened. Uh, I thought it needed an outer tie rod, but it turns out it's in great shape. I caught it in time. It didn't eat into the, the threads basically at all. But uh, the last guy who owned this car had no idea. There was a lot of stuff he had no idea about. So I got a pretty good price on it. I only paid 460 bucks. Pretty good. It's my favorite car to work on, by the way. I owned one of these back in the day. And back in the day being seven years ago. <laughs> Oh, seven or four or seven years ago. All right. Well, I hope you're looking forward to the videos to come because there should be a bunch. I got to diagnose why the cooling fan isn't turning on. We got a little fuel leak here on this little rubber hose, which is very common on Subarus. I fixed uh, a lot of these and... Well, that's basically all I know of for now. The body's in mint shape. All the lights work. It's fully loaded, minus the sunroof. Heated seats, heated mirrors, heated wiper blades. You know, uh, it does need tires. Eh, kind of poopy, but whatever. Well, at least the battery's good. The engine runs smooth. There's no dings or dents in the condenser, but it does have eight trouble codes. It's got a code for a very small evap leak, a small evap leak, which uh, a lot of the time is just the gas cap. Oh, it's on the other side. That's tight. Let's check the O-ring. It looks good. I need my flashlight to look in there. It's not too rusty. It's common for these Subarus to rust around here, even behind the quarter panel. But uh, I don't have access right now, and this is not a repair video. All right, stay tuned. Should get at least seven videos out of this car.